Hello, good evening classmates and professors as well. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the chapter that it was assigned to me by the professor. This uh, chapter is chapter number five and it was taken from uh, the book The Elements of uh, Moral Philosophy. This chapter, as you can see on the screen, it talks, or it refers to psychological egoism. So let's talk a little bit about it. The whole chapter by itself, it, it basically, it summarizes in this question, is unselfishness possible? Okay, I'm gonna leave that uh, intrigue to you. At the beginning of the chapter, it tells the story about this man, Roald Wallenberg. So I know that most of you might be wondering who this man is. So according to the book and according to what I read, this uh, is a Swedish man. Uh, he was an architect. That was, uh, it was what he did for a living. But uh, he was also a businessman. So he decided during uh, World War II to move to uh, his country, Sweden. And um, during his staying there, he decided that uh, he wanted to do whatever it takes to help these uh, Jewish people. Why? Because he um, found out Hitler's plan. And Hitler's plans was to basically to um, exterminate all the uh, Jewish from uh, the humanity, from the mankind. Uh, of course, that he uh, was totally disagree on it. So taking um, his money as his main resource, um, he created this uh, pass, which it was called Swedish Protective Passes. So basically, uh, it was a pass that allows the Jewish to be safe in the country. But unfortunately, um, as Hitler was gaining power, um, he removed the uh, people, um, well, many powerful people in uh, Sweden, and he replaced them by puppets of him. So at the end, he, uh, this Raoul, he wasn't able to save uh, all the people that he wanted to save. But the good thing about this is that uh, at the end, he could save like more than 1,200 uh, uh, Jewish from uh, being killed. So that, that is like the, uh, the first part of this uh, chapter. So what uh, does this uh, man have to do with all this psychological egoism? Well, we, uh, we will see it later on. Part of the theory uh, of this um, psychological egoism, it says that, well, human beings are expected to be attentive to other people's needs, at least to some degree. So in other words, um, it is like in our nature, in, in our inner uh, self to help people. But we are not capable to be unselfish according to human nature, nature theory. And if we uh, take a look to this uh, theory itself, I'm talking about the one of um, psychological egoism, it says that uh, the theory states that human action is motivated by self-interest. We might believe ourselves to be novel and self-sacrificing, but that is not, that is only an illusion. In reality, we care only for ourselves. So no matter what we do, if 
we are donating money, if we are helping, helping the poor people, if we are um, trying to cure cancer, for example, we only do that because we want to do, not because others. We do it because of ourselves. Okay, now we have two pictures in here. Uh, on one side, we have a uh, Mother Teresa. Uh, I guess that uh, most of you uh, know who she is. And on the other side, we have a man that is called David uh, Alsa. Okay, so going back to the theory and saying that uh, we are not capable to be unselfish, but we do things only because we. Um, only by self-interest. Uh, we know that Mother Teresa, uh, she was someone who spends uh, most of her life, practically uh, all her life, trying to help uh, or take care of poor people. So she travels around the world and she helped uh, all the people that uh, she could. And on the uh, other side, we have this man that, um, well, he's a millionaire, and uh, the good thing that he did, it was that uh, he donated 50% of his salary to charity. So we have two um, remarkable people in here. Okay, but what is the thing? Um, does these people do the things that they did just because they wanted to uh, help the world, help the people, or because they wanted to fulfill their own interest. Okay. According to the, uh, the chapter, all these people are looking for some specific things. For example, uh, they're looking for more significant life, they're looking for public recognition. They're looking for feeling of, uh, of personal satisfaction. Oh, they're looking for going to heaven in the case of Mother Teresa. This uh, Raul Wallenberg, the guy that I mentioned at the beginning of the, uh, this video, um, it turns out that some friend of him they mentioned that he was feeling lonely. He was feeling more. That was that it was why he decided to uh, do what he did. So at the end, he was looking for public recognition. What he wanted, what he really wanted, it was to uh, being able to be famous, to be someone in life, to be recognized by the world itself. But maybe he didn't realize that at the same time, he was like helping people. And that is what it matters at the end. But here is when it comes the other question. What about if uh, we, he, at the end, he didn't care about helping others? What about if uh, the only uh, thing that he uh, cared was uh, just being recognized? Well, I guess that that is something that we'll uh, never know. What about these people, this David? Okay, uh, I guess that he was uh, looking, oh, he was uh, looking for, for personal satisfaction uh, as well as Mother uh, Teresa. Because, uh, well, I read that um, what she really wanted is to be able to uh, go to heaven, to have this golden pass, as uh, some say. Okay, so now uh, let's continue with this uh, Thomas Hopes. So uh, he was someone who spent most of uh, his life like um, studying this uh, psychological egoism theory. Okay, so uh, this guy, he talks about two well, we can call it feelings that are part or can be part of this theory. So he talks about uh, charity and, and pity. 
Okay, so what happened with them? Okay, charity. Uh, it says that um, charity is more powerful than others. He cannot take care about himself, but uh, showing off his superiority. Well, it mentions it mentions some examples that, uh, for instance, at the end, and taking taking into consideration this man David that he donated all uh, part of, of his money. What about if uh, by doing this, what he was really showing off was that he was better, that he was superior, according to others. Why? Because he was able to uh, give part of his money to help people. So that way he was feeling like in a higher level. And the chapter mentions that, that charity basically it summarizes in the fact that uh, it makes that the uh, people feel superior to others. And it also talks a little bit about pity. And basically by being pity is uh, being uh, or showing empathy with others. But it says that we, don't, we do not show the same empathy with good people that we show it with uh, bad people. Now, he also developed this or came up with these uh, two arguments in favor of psychological egoism. So number one, it says that we always do what we must want to do. Okay? And taking into consideration this uh, role, uh, it says that uh, his actions were dictated by his own desires. So at, at the end, what he did, it says that he might did it because it was only because he wanted to do. Just he, it wasn't his nature, but he just wanted to do it. And also uh, the chapter says that uh, we do not do always what we want to do. And it mentions the example of being in a dentist, that we go to a dentist, not because we want to, but because we don't want to have cavities, for example. Or what about, uh, when we are working and we are told to do by our boss to do something that we uh, don't want to do. So that is, it is a little bit contradictory. Personally, I, uh, I, I am not agree with um, this um, first argument. And number two, it says that we do uh, what make us uh, feel good. So it says that uh, acting unselfishly makes people feel good about um, themselves. So maybe we, we uh, do that because we want it to feel good, not because it is part of uh, our nature. And as human beings, okay, we always do what, what make us um, feel good. So basically, this is all about uh, this chapter. Uh, I personally think that there is not such thing as this um, psychological egoism. So we cannot be uh, unselfish because it is not it is not part of us. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and. Um, that would be all.